Bradley Manning was found not guilty of aiding the enemy, and that's a good one, I guess. He still could face 20-plus years in jail. The Americans fired an average of 5.5 million bullets a month in Iraq. Let that sink into your head for a second. 5.5 million bullets a month. That's not counting everything like tanks and jets and helicopters. Just soldiers firing bullets. And lots of that was uh, dull ram rounds made from yellow cake, a.k.a. dirty bombs that are made at McAllister's bomb manufacturing facility in Oklahoma. They put out 20 train cars of depleted uranium bullets, bullets a day. And that's um, 5.5 million rounds of dirty bombs, you have to assume. It's 183,000 bullets and dirty bombs a day. Uh, if you fired 5.5 million bullets and dirty bombs, say, uh, in New York City, how many civilians do you think would be killed? 5.5 million bullets, rather, a month. How many people do you think will be maimed at 5.5 million bullets and dirty bombs a month? How many traumatized? How many will get cancer or birth defects if you fired 5.5 million bullets a month into all the apartments, all the buildings, all the schools, all the churches, all the shops, all the hospitals? That's uh, 7,638 bullets and dirty bombs an hour. That's 127 bullets and dirty bombs a minute. That's uh, insane. The military says, you know, these numbers don't quite add up because the military says they use 72 million rounds a year in Iraq. It's 330 million rounds over five years. Imagine 330 million rounds fired off in New York City. And the Army says Lake City production will increase to 2 billion rounds a year. And all of this to get 11,000 Taliban. 5.5 million rounds of bullets and dirty bombs a month. I mean, there's 1.1 billion tons of depleted uranium in America right now that they got to get rid of. And this is the way they're getting rid of it. They're hurling it all around the world. 